So guys, this is the corset from AliExpress. That was like 20 something dollars USD. And this is the corset from Rebel Mad Madness, which was like 60, 70 something USD. I don't know, I bought it in euros, so. But you can clearly see one of the main differences. And this one, I wore kind of like a beginner corset, kind of like to train my body into being able to withstand long periods with something like this on. And it does, like, I'm going to put it on, but like there is some kind of like waist shrinking mechanism to it, but not as defined as this one. And this one hugs the body better than this one. And I'm going to show you guys that in a bit. Okay guys, so first I'm wearing the Aliexpress corset and I'm going to tighten this as much as I can. I don't usually, when I do wear it, I don't tighten it as much as I can because it's not healthy, but I want you guys to see the difference between how it takes form on my shape, this one versus the other corset. So. So this is tight, pretty tight, and I'm not gonna, I usually just tight in the back, but um, to be quick. So you can see that it does give definition. And it's a bit scrunched up, but I just want you guys to get an idea. Usually, like, I can flatten it out and make it, like, nice and pretty, but that's not the point of the video. Um, I'm going to show you guys my waist size with this on. So, uh, oops. I'm at a 25 with this corset. Okay. So now I'm going to put the other one on so you guys can see the difference. And then I'm going to tell you like in detail what I like about that one versus this one. This one was my starter corset. It's like the first corset I got. Um, and I really liked it until I got my new one. So if you want to save some money and not spend too much money on a corset, this is a good um, compromise. But if you are serious about waist training, then I would suggest you get the more um, advanced corset. And I'm going to show you guys. Um, what it looks like on me so you guys can see for yourself why is it important to buy a quality handmade corset versus something from aliexpress if you want to seriously waist train so i'm gonna take this off also this one is so much easier to come off um, than the other one that i got this one i just have to like Separate the back like pull and it's like already done. So this is the other corset. As you can see, like the mesh is really focused. Focus. Okay. The mesh is really durable. It's really, really high duty. And then the clasps are really, really structured. Like, I'm trying to bend it right now and it's not, it's not going. Also, like the construct is like really, really precise. So versus the AliExpress one, this one has more definition in the waist. And it also has like a waistband. And you're going to see why this is important when I put it on. Okay. So I'm just going to undo this a little bit. So 
if I want to undo this, I just pull it a little bit. It's easy to do when it's off, but when it's on, it's not, not that easy. And you're also going to see that this back piece is also going to sh uh, scrunch up like the other one did. Um, so I'm going to show you how I control that. So this corset that I got is a size 20 inch. Um, oh, am I putting this on right? <laughs> okay. So this corset that I got is a 20 inch. Um, it's a X small. Um, and that's... It's 20 inches if it's laced all the way tight. So on the website, they have instructions on how to choose a corset and what size to choose. And I'm not going to go into that because that's a personal thing. But with a, like my waist without any corset, without anything, is like 24, 25. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. So you see how it looks, right? So you guys can see how it looks. This is not tightened or laced at all, but you can see the definition versus when I had the AliExpress on, um, it wasn't as defined as this. So you see the back, and um, I'm going to start tightening it. Now this one, I don't tighten, I don't just pull it all the way like I did with the AliExpress one just because I want to make sure that this flat back here is positioned properly. So y'all are about to, you guys are going to just see my struggle here. It's much easier if you have somebody physically helping you, but they don't, so. This is like, this is like this little back flap. It's in every corset, but it's, I don't like it. It's really annoying. This is tight, as tight as it can go. So I'm just going to tie it like I did the other one. Very quick, so you guys can see what my waist size is. This one. that my waist is at a 23.5 okay so that's two inches less than the AliExpress one tightened is tight and the reason why this one can go so tight is because of the waistband right here and also the construction so that's not like a actually constructed corset so it's not going to get as tight and form fitting as this one. You can see, like, it's really, it really just hugs my body. And I don't ever wear it this tight, but I want you guys to see exaggeratedly the difference between the AliExpress and the Rebel Madness um, corset or any kind of professionally handmade corset from a reliable corset making company. So that's it. Um, if you guys want to see how closed it is, this is a 20 inch. And I'm honestly, like, I'm not interested in closing it because that's 20 inches and I think that's a little bit too much. Um, my goal waist is between 23 and 24, so kind of what it is right now. 
So I'm kind of just in the process of maintenance. Um, my diet, exercise, everything. Like I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm more trying to tone my body and keep a shape that I have now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video.